Did you know that Jim Cramer advises Tesla shareholders to sell their Tesla stock? Today, Tesla stock investors are at a crossroads as to whether they should keep holding their stocks or sell. Kramer would never give unsound advice, so you definitely would not want to miss this one. Although Tesla stock is not faring as well as can be expected after the EV company released third quarter production and delivery numbers that fell short of analyst estimates, the Tesla community is optimistic that Tesla stock will bounce back in no time. However, Jim Cramer believes that this is the right time for Tesla shareholders to sell their shares. James Joseph Cramer, most known as Jim Cramer, is an American television personality and author. He is the host of Mad Money on CNBC and an anchor on Squawk on the Street. Cramer was a hedge fund manager, founder, and senior partner of Cramer Berkowitz. In 2005, Cramer signed on to be the host of the CNBC show Mad Money, for which he is most well known. The show's goal is to teach its viewers how to think like professional investors and not to tell people what to think. The show's popularity has risen consistently over the past 10 years, making it one of the most popular investment shows on CNBC. All my career, I have been fascinated by companies with vociferous bulls and ferocious bears, if only because they can be so entertaining," Kramer once said. Before we go on, Moomoo developed a new function, the industrial chain. Suppose you want to find out the stocks that have the potential to fluctuate in the upcoming days or months. The industrial chain will help you a lot. It provides a detailed picture of the trending industries, such as semiconductors and EVs. You can quickly find stocks either upstream or downstream, which helps you focus on target segments of an industry more quickly. Also, as segments are related to industries, you could predict price fluctuations faster without reading many research reports to determine the relationships within one industry. Link in description. Jim Cramer's daughter originally introduced the idea of investing in Tesla. In 2019, she was driving from Oregon to LA and decided to rent a Tesla. She wasn't into cars before, Cramer says, but she was amazed by how much she liked driving an electric vehicle and how easy it was to refuel. She said it was the most fun car in the world, says Cramer. His daughter was sold on Tesla, but Kramer himself was skeptical about the company and pointed out that the stock was expensive. Still, Kramer's daughter said that she believed in Tesla's CEO Elon Musk. She also said that Kramer had a bias against the company because he was too old to see the potential in electric cars. I'm going to save up to own a Tesla and I want to buy the stock of Tesla, Kramer recalls her saying. Sure enough, she bought in and saw Tesla's stock increase 10 times, says Kramer. She had conviction, she did the work and bought it he says. And so in 2019, Tesla had a new convert as tough critic Jim Cramer of CNBC's Mad Money turns from an agnostic skeptic to an outright bull on the electric car maker's stock. The Mad Money host declared that he had become a true believer in Tesla, which he classifies as a battleground stock. In fact, Cramer said in 2021, Tesla is a huge buy right now. Ironically, by 2022, Kramer announced that he prefers Ford over Tesla stocks. According to him, Ford is preparing to oust Tesla from its place and become the leader in the EV market instead. Ford is supposedly planning to produce around 2 million electric vehicles by 2026. Kramer said that Tesla investors should seriously start considering selling their Tesla shares instead of holding on to them. Kramer's decision of choosing Ford over Tesla seemed to stem from Ford's announcement of its plans to double the annual production capacity of its upcoming electric F-150 pickup truck to 150,000 units per year by mid-2023. This model is assumed to be a competitor of the much-anticipated Tesla Cybertruck. In fact, Jim Cramer criticized Tesla Cybertruck, which is yet to be released. He said that this will be Tesla CEO Elon Musk's first flop. This is yet to be proven, of course, but the number of pre-sales and reservations for the Cybertruck prove otherwise. Aside from criticisms against Tesla, Kramer also recommended buying a Ford EV instead. Kramer said that Ford is going into the production of inverters and batteries and is likely to produce 200,000 battery vehicles. He claims that Ford has gone ahead of Tesla when it comes to pickup trucks in the past, and possibly more so in the future. He said that compared to Tesla, which is suffering gross pains despite expanding its factories, Ford already had successful big car production factories in place for years longer than Tesla. According to Kramer, Ford CEO James Farley does not make anything that does not make money. This rings true as the company's stock price increased when Farley took over in 2020. 
Farley, like Musk, is planning to move the company away from combustion engines toward electric vehicles instead, just like Tesla did. In fact, Kramer said that the sky is the limit for Ford this year and recommended buying Ford's F100 Lightning all-electric truck, which is an electric version of the iconic American pickup truck. While it may be true that Tesla will soon face heavy competition since a lot of big corporations are beginning to transition into electric vehicles, experts believe that at this point, Tesla remains to be the top of its game and other companies are still quite far behind in terms of technology. That said, Tesla and Ford are completely in different markets. While Ford may be trying to catch up with Tesla, Ford is still an entire generation behind Tesla in terms of AI developments. This leads to the question, why did Jim Cramer choose Ford over Tesla? Some assume that one of the reasons is the overall macroeconomic volatility with many experts predicting a worldwide recession. However, Kramer has a positive outlook on the market and believes that stocks are certainly poised to surge if some things go in the right direction. Kramer said that multiple economic aspects can influence investors' opinion of the stock market and their decision about buying and selling positions in a recent interview. While it may seem like Kramer simply set his sight on an EV company that is not Tesla, it proves to be otherwise as he has not expressed backing for any other electric vehicle company. In fact, he said that he does not think that Rivian is the next Tesla. Rivian Automotive Inc. is an American electric vehicle automaker and automotive technology company. Simply put, it appears that Jim Cramer sees a much brighter future in Ford rather than in Tesla. Cramer said that it's always possible to find stocks with high growth potential if you know how. Sometimes it can be as simple as liking a company and its products, then following up with research into whether the stock feels worth investing in. Kramer said. He noted that if a company creates an innovative product that you like, they're more likely to keep making good products even as consumer demand shifts. However, others claim that Tesla has been perhaps the greatest performer in the post-COVID bull market, and the business has seen substantial improvements in capacity and margins in 2022. The car market is set to cool off substantially as prices and demand are likely to mean revert following their epic run-up in 2021. That said, they believe that now is a good time to take gains and wait for the bear market to play out or, given the relative cheapness of insurance currently, hedge. Still, experts were impressed with Tesla's business performance in 2022. Tesla has done an excellent job of ramping up production in 2022, despite production setbacks in Shanghai. Berlin production has already exceeded 1,000 cars per week, and production in Austin is set to pass 1,000 cars per week soon. Battery production credits from the Inflation Reduction Act should also provide a boost to margin for the next few quarters, and additional cost savings will be realized from ramping up the Austin and Berlin factories. Profitability has ramped up nicely with LTM EBI TDA margin at around 21% and finally catching up in a quantum to Piers F and GM. Tesla has also substantially improved its cash balance, increasing to over $18 billion in Q2. Production and deliveries are up substantially YOY despite the supply chain setbacks. Also, Tesla has negative net debt currently, and given the business's improved profitability profile, there is essentially zero insolvency risk. While Tesla has been reluctant to issue more shares in the past few years, that option is always on the table, and Tesla's premium valuation is a massive competitive advantage over competitors via its lower cost of capital. This is part of the Elon Musk halo effect. Of course, whether or not you should sell your Tesla shares remains to be your decision. Although Kramer advises on selling, your opinion matters the most in this important move. Like the unending debate as to whether Tesla stock is overvalued or undervalued, even experts have their respective strong opinions about selling or holding Tesla stock. Subscribe to this channel for more Tesla stock updates.